Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. So today we're finally going to be going over the AK-47 loadout. Um, a lot of viewers have been requesting this from me in the comments from every single video I've been posting, uh, especially from all the high kill games when I use my custom AK-47 loadout. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump right in it. All right, so this, uh, this loadout here is actually really revolved around like pure accuracy um, and like zero recoil. Um, I, I really enjoy this loadout. It has, like I said, it has like zero recoil. So it's definitely an, an incredible, highly recommended loadout here for beginners that are uh, currently looking for loadouts. It's broken tons of world records for, um, for me when I'm playing it and when I'm using this gun. Um, so with that being said, so we have the, uh, the muzzle here, which is the, uh, um, the OWC light compensator. That's the first uh, perk that I have. Now, a lot of people do have, uh, for example, like the uh, ammunition, like a heavy mag. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's kind of personal preference at that point where you guys choose uh, what you guys want to do. Um, it's nice to have the, uh, the extra like 20 bullets or whatever the case, 10 to 20 bullets, depending which mag you choose. Um, but personally, I don't use it because um, there's mods in the game. Mods meaning like the uh, the attachments on the ground, like a, a heavy mag or a, a void mag. Uh, the void mod's my favorite one because it has 50 rounds. There's a lot of people that don't like it because if you run out of uh, ammo towards the end, it'll like just entirely wipe out all of your bullets. Like if you have like 48, let's say you have like, I don't know, 48 bullets and you reload and you only have two extra bullets... Um, you won't be able to get all of those that 50 back. It'll basically wipe it out. Um, so I usually just uh, like having an extra attachment instead of just um, ammo because I feel like if you just have the ammo in there, you're kind of missing out on an extra attachment that can really help you kill an enemy. With that being said, before I get into like the uh, the dot sights, because that's also kind of personal preference, but obviously the the muzzle here uh, is definitely a must. It helps with vertical recoil control and lateral recoil, so it's just another um, recoil control kind of thing to help you out uh, if you're having issues trying to control your recoil when you're shooting the target. Um, and then you have the barrel here, um, the OWC Ranger, uh, which is definitely an awesome thing. It helps with bullet spread. So a lot of the guns, like, especially since I think like season nine released, there was a lot of issues. Um, people were saying that with, uh, the ADS bullet spread, meaning when you're zooming in on a target and you're trying to shoot someone, the bullet spread just kind of sprays off everywhere. And they kind of like did that. I, I feel like COD mobile did that as like a challenge kind of thing. Um, I, I personally didn't agree with that, but I noticed it a lot more when Season 9 was launched with uh, all of these loadouts coming out. Um, so definitely, like I said, it gives you damage range, recoil control. It does help with bullet spread accuracy, so it, it prevents the bullet spread when you're shooting, meaning it'll spray like a, uh, um, like a cone, basically, when you're shooting a target from like far range. Um, and then you have up next, which is the, uh, the laser sight here. So, um, laser sight can like help out with like hit fire and stuff, but obviously the OWC lasers like is a, is a must because it helps out with uh, ADS speed. So basically like when you're about to ADS a target, um, it helps pick up faster. So sometimes like if you notice, if you have, if you have like an M4 LMG or like a RPD, for example, or a chopper, you know how sometimes like um, when you uh, shoot from like hit fire into ADS or would you just click on the ADS button, it takes like, I don't know, 1.5 seconds or like one second to finally aim in and start shooting. So that's what ADS speed means. It just kind of progresses the speed when you're ADSing a target down. Um, definitely something I highly recommend, um, just because like with an assault rifle, you try, you, your, your goal is to obviously aim down a target, um, kill them as fast as possible, but the ADS speed really helps out when you're trying to like pull out your weapon quickly and kill someone. Um, and then obviously again, there's another ADS bullet spread accuracy, just like the, uh, the barrel here as well. So this build right here is meant in my opinion um for be especially for beginner players but a lot of pro players use this build i see a ton of people on the competitive side of battle royale um, especially on the pro teams a lot of people have these attachments here because it really mows down targets i mean as you guys see in some of my gameplays 
um, like in my world record videos and stuff, I use this exact loadout here, as you guys can see. Um, and you guys can just watch it for yourself and see how accurate this, uh, this loadout is. Second to last is the uh, under barrel here. So the Ranger foregrip is like the best thing for recoil. Um, so like, like again, so this is for the fourth attachment here. You have another recoil control attachment. And then on top of that, you have more ADS bullet spread. So it's super accurate. This gun, like when you're shooting someone, obviously you still have to have that slight recoil control on your own when you're shooting but it it helps so much and i i hope i hope this loadout really helps you guys out it's on my discord as well too um this loadout i have a screenshot of it on my discord for everyone to see um and we have links in that and that'll be in the description and then last but not least the optic so i like having a scope personally on mine because i'm able to zoom in a little bit more but if i'm doing like long range shots which i do a lot i at first used the classic red dot um it was one of my personal favorites, um, but uh, real quick, shout out to my boy Wick's son. Um, I was watching him play a lot before I swapped to the Red Dot Site 2, and he uses the Red Dot Site 2. And um, I, at first I was using this Red Dot, the classic one, which is obviously, like I said, this is all personal preference when it comes to the sites. So this right here, though, the red, classic Red Dot, you can't go wrong with it. It's, it's, a, it's a great site um having that nice little red dot on it which really helps um keeps it very simplistic i'd say but the red side the red dot site too i mean it's just like i said it's just personal preference but i just like the the lens on it and i don't know i i tried it out and i noticed i was watching sun play with it and uh i really liked it so i switched to it and i um i don't know it's it's really a it's a good red dot for sure um, highly recommended. So, um, yeah, that that's my build, guys. So I'll try to make this quick and simple um, since a lot of people have been requesting for this. Thanks again. Um, if you guys want to drop a like, comment, and subscribe below, I would appreciate it. If there's any more uh, feedback you guys have, um, I'm probably going to be coming out with a settings video next because um, a lot of people were asking for, like, sensitivity settings and camera settings, stuff like that. So that'll probably be in the next video. My name is Splinter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care.